In your view, Professor, how effective is mathematics in helping us understand the physical world? It's very effective. At least, I would qualify that statement just a little because since we don't know everything about the physical world, we can't actually say how effective it is. But in terms of our explorations to date, Mathematics has been absolutely essential to our getting to grips with the physical world because it gives us normative descriptions. And if you think, for example, of astronomy and our understanding of the planets, the richness that was supplied by Isaac Newton, for instance, to the observations of Johannes Kepler meant that we had a firm mathematical basis for understanding the motion of the planets. Or think of the understanding that Maxwell gave of electromagnetism. That was an immense leap forward. And after that, we get Einstein and so on. And at the heart of all of this, is mathematics. So it appears to me that mathematics is a supreme tool for describing the phenomena that we observe. If you omit mathematics, everything becomes pretty vague. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. And uh, now, it, it looks like mathematics describes pretty well the, the, the physical world and, you know, maybe from the movement of electrons, you mentioned Maxwell's equation and even the motion of galaxies. But then the second question is, why is the effectiveness, according to Eugene Wigner, considered as unreasonable? Because of his worldview. I don't see it as unreasonable at all. And your question is very interesting because it really shows that scientists don't come to the study of the world without preconceived ideas and worldviews. And um, Wigner was an atheist. And from an atheist perspective, the fact that mathematics works is absolutely astonishing. Einstein saw that very clearly, and it led to his famous statement that the only incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it's comprehensible. Because Einstein was clever enough, as was Wigner, to see that there's a problem here. And it depends on your presuppositions. If you believe that the universe is a, a cosmic accident, as many extremely gifted physicists and Nobel Prize winners seem to think, then, of course, mathematics is unreasonably uh, effective. Why should a mathematician thinking in here about the universe out there come up with equations that remotely connect and that we find a language, a mathematical language, that's able to describe with considerable accuracy what is going on out there? On the other hand, from my perspective, as a Christian, believing that the reason mathematics is effective is because the same creator who created the universe outside of us also created the human mind inside of us. And being a rational creator, therefore, it seems to me very natural to expect that we can understand something of the universe. And in fact, uh, the basic doctrine of the Judeo-Christian tradition, the Bible, uh, indicates that study of the universe would be a very rewarding thing. Uh, and that particular verse of the Psalms is still on the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge where Maxwell worked. So it depends entirely where you're coming from. For atheists, it's unreasonably effective for Christians, it's reasonably effective. Or theists, there are many different kinds of theists in the great uh, three great monotheistic religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. It is entirely reasonable. But I think you see that science here is not neutral. The fact that mathematics works 
is pointing to something much deeper, I think, that begins to undermine the atheistic worldview of Victor. <laughs>